Right, this could be video three. I'm just making my way round the Robero Hill Fort. Like I say, it's quite a big hill fort. And I've just come stumbled across some sheep. Black and brown and white ones. In fact, a whole herd. I'd seen them earlier. At least they're having a... They got somewhere to shelter in these woods. And um, they help keep the grass down. I mean, it's a symbiotic thing, isn't it? So I'm carrying on walking around because I wanted to do a thorough look around the fort, the whole thing. There's no point doing a bit of it. And I'm glad I decided to stay up here and not go down another track where I saw people. So that wouldn't uh, that would have taken me off. See, that's that's the thing. You, you have to be so careful. You can. There's a lot of little turnings when you're out and about, and it's so easy thinking, "Oh, that looks like the one." And um, it turns out it's not the one. And then you have to backtrack. So there we are. There's the sheepies. Looking after the hill fort. These are the residents now of Robero. They're not very big sheep. There's quite a few black ones as well. So we carry on round, merging at the other side now. So this, you've got to do it in this before the winter comes, don't you really think about it? Imagine trying to come up here in the snow. You'd have to have um, proper snow boots and skis and all sorts, wouldn't you? Here's another one of those little round home things there that somebody's made. I should imagine someone has made it, it's probably. Um, these could have been the stones that were left over from the buildings, you know, in the past. Um, this little place here. Um, of course, you get people playing soldiers that might um, make this a little shelter. And you can put something over the top of that, look. Or it could also be a place where the sheep go. The sheep all go in there and huddle together. I can imagine them doing that as well. <clears throat> I say it's quite big. I've, I've um, decided to see all of it because you don't know what you might, what features you might miss. And you can see the size of it. I mean, really, this one's um, probably the size of Whirlberry Woods. Because Whirlberry Woods is full of um, woods, basically. So you can't see the features so much. Um, it would probably be show up as big as this one if it was cleared of um, the trees, as it used to be in the past. But this certainly is big. And I'm going to look into more of the history of it. The Romans and things like that as well. God, there's a whole herd of them coming here. Look at this, everyone. My God. A big family. Hello, sheepies. Black ones. Brown ones. they could have been brought down from the Mendips, you see, to come here and do it a bit of pruning before the winter. It's all free, isn't it, the grass? 
<laughs> Look at them all. All following like sheep. Hello, sheepies. Come on then. They'll find other ways past me. There they go. I'll be walking up through the middle in a minute. I hope you're not full of ticks, you lot. Hello. You lovely, my me and my pram. Oh God, there's hundreds of them. <laughs> little little brands. <laughs> little faces. Beautiful. <laughs> lovely. See, you're not alone when you're out. You can talk to the animals and the plants. The trees. <laughs> Look at that. It's lovely, isn't it? So lucky to have this day, you know, because the weather's changing rapidly and um, it's not just a case of weather, because you can come out in all weathers, can't you? It's um, the amount of hours left before you have to start hiking back. But this is what being free is about, everyone. Being out and about. Now, of course, you are restricted to a certain extent when you've got young children. But you can take them out. Mine were always being taken out for walks and stuff. But I went, obviously, you go through periods where you, it's very hectic. When I was a nurse, it, the shift system was horrendous, to be quite honest. And you are very tired. So when the weekend comes, you don't always feel like doing anything with them. And then they get to teenagers and they, they don't want to go out with you. And they, they don't want to be, they're not interested in history. I've always loved the countryside, ever since I remember. I'm glad I'm, my mum never took me back to London to live. If she could easily have done that with her home family being up there. She could have easily wanted to go back to be near her mum and her sisters and her dad. She took us out of there. Into the beautiful countryside. And I was born in Somerset. I am Somerset. Little Amber's Somerset girl. And um, Lucy. Jack's Bristol. And... Um, Daisy's Dorset. But they're all little Somerset people, really. Because they all live here. Yeah, I didn't meet my mum, unfortunately. Anyway, I'm going to pass off now for a minute because I've been rambling. I've got to take some photos. I've been rambling, everyone. I might have gone on for ages. So there is a, just before I turn off though, because I've got to take some, I won't be taking a lot of photos because the sun's going to be right in my face. There is um, an area down there, almost like a moat look. 